Hello, this is Malorian, and now this will be 35 points of my Epic Lilith up against Shay. Alright, so I already had got three games in. I was feeling pretty good, could have gone home, but you know, I felt like getting one more in. Uh, picked a random character, it was Epic Lilith. So, what I'm going to be taking is a Nissa Rivel, three Raptors, a Ravagor, Carnivian, Epic Lilith, Striders, and the Scather Crew. Uh, the mission here is the one where there's that explosive dump in the center. You need to get three points to win, and either you can get a point by controlling the opponent's side zone or by controlling the dump in the center. Uh, but if your Warcaster controls it, you can use it to make a big blast within four inches of you, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, unfortunately, this forces you to the center, and so my list of running away and shooting won't work as well as I thought. Uh, anyway, this will be my first time up against Pirates, so it should be a, a very interesting game. I have no idea what they do. So here's a close-up of his army. So the left unit, that's going to be Press Gangers. The right unit, that's going to be regular Pirates, I guess. Uh, he has a Commodore, a whole bunch of different Solos, uh, and then three Jacks and Raven on the, the right side. So I deployed first, he deployed second. I was a little bit surprised to see all those Jacks on the right side. And of course with them rushing my zone, I have to make sure that my Carnivian goes over to deal with them. Apart from that, I'm going to just really hope that my shooting can kill off all this infantry uh, quickly. And uh, then, I don't know, the cannon I'm not too worried about because of Shadow Pack. But uh, overall, I just don't know what tricks he's going to have to kind of surprise me, other than I asked his feet, which is where he gets an extra three inches. So I get first turn, just really moving up into position. Uh, a scather shot up there that's just kind of hoping to get in his way. I have shadow pack up and also spiky growth up just in case. His turn, pretty much just moving up. Nothing really fancy apart from that. Alright, so my turn two, and really what I start off with, is my Anissa and the Raptors on the far left shooting into his press gangers. Now, I really expected them to kill quite a few guys, and in the end, I killed one. And that's because, I guess, between the with these solos, he has a four plus tough, and then if he ever fails tough, uh, or passes it, whatever, where he's knocked down, he's not knocked down. So they're fairly resilient, so what I decided to do was just to tank up. So I ran up the Ravagor, as you can see there, moved over the Carnivian, uh, did a little uh, breathing spray into his pirates, uh, then moved up with Lilith, put up the spiky growth on both of them, and then uh, really what I want to do with Lilith as well is put up the pin cushion on his pirates, uh, failed that. So anyway, my uh, Striders moved up and just did a big combo shot into his left jack, did some damage, nothing too crazy, and here I am. So his next turn, this will be his feet turn, uh, he used his feet to move his guys up. The guy with the harpoon came over and tried to net me, my Carnivian, but was out of range. So his other guy, the guy with two like little clamp hands, uh, he charged the Carnivian, uh, did some damage, but I guess he missed one of his initials, so he couldn't do the combo thing he wanted to do. Uh, otherwise, his other Jack went into my Striders, killed one of them, and then uh, his other guy is just really just staying in the zone. He's trying to move up his cannon to hope to shoot something, and then uh, just tying up my Ravagor. My turn three then, uh, my Raptors have a little bit more luck on the left side, so that's pretty good. Uh, my Ravagor whiffs, and then uh, my uh, Carnivian goes and scraps that Jack that I was up against, so that's really good. Uh, combo shot into the little harpoon guy, does a good amount of damage, and then Lilith uses the, the Isle of Sight to kill the first mate solo, and then do some damage on the little short guy with coins that does tough. So his turn three, his little harpoon jack goes to put all my guys engaged. Uh, he tries to shoot two gunners at Lilith, but uh, they miss. Uh, and then otherwise, the only big news is that his caster is now behind that one tree up there. So he's actually farther up than uh, I expected him to move. And so really when I was looking at this, normally what I do is I, th I think about keeping up the tank. And my Carnivian can move over, scrap the harpoon guy. And then really I just would shift around and just kind of keep up the attrition game. Or I could trample over and attack his caster. But at this point, I was kind of unsure which way I should go. So my turn four then, and I call this the turn that everything fell apart. Because I decided to start with 
my uh, Lilith, uh, I dropped Shadow Pack just because the stuff was so close. And I thought, hey, why don't I go and I'll put up the pin cushion on the uh, Raven to weaken him down, shoot him up a bit, and then I can trample over. Well, I missed my uh, magic, I missed my shot, and then at this point I realized, well, if I now ditch with my Carnivian, I'm in a lot of trouble. So I decided just to try and keep up the tank. I did nothing but stand here. Uh, I think maybe with the Barath weapon I was able to kill his, uh, that other solo, the one that gives t coins and does tough, and then uh, really did very little else. Uh, there was some little special pirate on the left that my Ravagor killed, and I did a little bit of shooting with my raptors and stuff, but really I did nothing except for sit around and waste a lot of activations. So his turn four, and I felt really lucky here. Uh, he blasts the Carnivian with the cannon, which slammed him away, which really opened him up so that his caster could get to E. Lilith. And I thought, well, that's pretty much it over. But uh, luckily, between my transfer and, uh, you know, just, it's, it's pretty tough for him uh, to hit me. So he's having to boost and all this stuff. You can see there, I was left with two boxes left. And so really... Uh, Really happy that I survived this. And now, of course, between all that I have here, he's pretty much doomed. Or at least that's what I thought. So I had E. Lilith move away, uh, try doing some shooting into him, did a little bit of damage. Uh, my Ravagor came over, was going to do a big headbutt. I missed. Uh, was able to hit one other hit, do some damage. Then my Carnivian turned around, and uh, he had been knocked down, so I had to pay one to stand him back up. And uh, really just wasn't able to do it. Uh, just that defense 17 is just so hard to hit. And uh, I even learned after that had I knocked him down with that headbutt, he still counts as defense 17 anyway. So yeah, a real fail there. And really what I had to do then to recover is that all my Raptors and Anissa Rivel zipped over to put up this little defensive line around me. But in the end, it turned out it wasn't enough. His cannon shot and killed the Carnivian. And uh, then I guess he, he has this ability on Shea where when he hits something, it knocks it back, and then he gets the follow-up. And so between that, he was able to angle it just right to get to E. Lilith, get in that last hit, and do the last two damage. So victory to Shea and the Pirates. And I think this is really just one that I, I had it, and I, I let it go. I uh, really... It just came down to the fact that I never faced Shea before. Didn't really expect to see the defense 17 and that the fact that you can't knock him down. Or that if you knock him down, he's still defense 17. Had I known that, the Ravagor would have been able to put more into trying to boost to hit him. And really, any more damage, I think he ended the game with just 5 left. So, would have been pretty easy to kill him. But hey, there you go. I mean, the main thing is that now I learned uh, a new sub-faction, learned a new caster, and won't be caught off guard with it next time. Thanks for watching.